<laughs> Welcome to Miller Dojo. Today we're going to talk about the thumb takedown. It's a pressure point technique. It can result in a takedown. It's very, very painful. First things first, I'm going to take this around up towards the camera. I'm going to explain just exactly where about this is. So, what we're going to do with, we're going to look at the bicep area of the arm. Now, obviously, the top of the bicep, the bit that pumps up when you flex if you've got nice big strong arms or whatever, we're basically going between the bicep and the joint of the elbow. Now, running along up here in the center of the arm into the joint of the elbow is a meridian called the pericardium. Now, the pericardium's got various pressure points and it's basically attached to a sac that protects your heart. Now, the known pressure points for this, we've basically got pressure point three, pressure point four down here, pressure point two at the top of the bicep. What we're actually going for is not a recognized pressure point. However, I think it's the most effective pressure point on the pericardium itself. It's still on the same channel, it still uses the meridian of the pericardium. It's not listed in acupuncture. If it were, it'd be something like 0.2.3 quarters or something. Obviously, we've got pericardium three there, pericardium two at the top of the bicep, and then the next one is up in the shoulder, etc., going towards the heart. But we're going for right here, approximately an inch from the fold of the elbow. So if you've got the fold of the elbow with a couple of fingers, just from the fold, and that's the area where we're going for. So it's not on the middle of the bicep, it's sort of like at the beginning of where the bicep muscle starts. On the thumb takedown, as you might think, oh, what's this going to be about? Is this going to be about getting onto the thumb, putting him in a thumb lock and taking him <laughs> down like that? No, it's not. We're not going to do that. That's all well and good. We'll do a video on that if you really want to see that later. But that's just a normal thumb lock. There's no too special about that. What we're actually going to do with our thumbs, we're going to press on these two points. Now, this could be, let's just say, Sensei Brown's got a lapel grab on me. Just grab both lapels, Sensei. Now, he's setting himself up perfect for this. My hand's just here, dipping in, and all I'm going to do with a bit of... I'm not going to set light pressure, because you need to put a little bit of effort into it, obviously. <laughs> I'm only going to go light on Sensei Brown, because we've been doing this numerous times, and it really, really hurts, and he's very, very much activated now. So it's only going to take me light pressure just to get that little bit of a dig in and watch him drop down all the way. The pericardium has got lots and lots of very, very nice pressure points, but not one that gives you an effective reaction as that one. Now, the, the type of movement to go into it is obviously with the base of the thumb, using the pad of the thumb, sorry. Put the pad of the thumb into it. If you can wiggle it, if you can get some wiggled pressure on there, you're going to get a really, really spasmic reaction going off there. <laughs> not nice. Now, it's my turn to feel some pain. Sensei Brown's going to go in and show the exact same thing on me. So, exactly, it can come from a lapel grab like this. Perfect how I'm setting my arms up for this, just with a normal grab. Ah! And no matter how much I try to hold on and not go down with that. I mean, obviously, like I said, we've been working on them, so we're a little bit extra sensitive to them. <laughs> I didn't even do that hard, but yet again, it's gone in with it, and that really, really hurts. Just want to try that again, Sensei. I'm not going to move this time. I'm going to stay here as hard as I can, and you're not going to get this pressure point this time. <laughs> <laughs> Now, obviously, our taking it and our pushing down, you've got to push it down to get that reaction. And if you keep me arm straight, they don't activate as much as what you think they do. You've got to have a, like what we say, if, if somebody grabs you, you just come on round the outside, you know what I mean? So, yeah, again, from a lapel grab, Sensei Brown grabs me. <clears throat> Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, we've been in this dojo for a good few years now and working on a lot of pressure points and stuff. And we've been battering each other, you know, we've been using the pressure points here and certain <laughs> takedown moves like that. And they're all very good, painful pressure points. They're all over the place. You know where they are, you can activate them straight away, you know the technique, that's fine. But like I said, never in my life have I felt the pain of this almost secret pressure point. And we're going to call it secret because, like I say, in the acupuncture charts and Chinese medicine and all this. You know, where it's been long established, the meridians of the body, and they've got all the pericardium and all the little dot numbers and stuff, which they use in all types of jujitsu and kyushu karate and stuff for hitting impressive points. This is a point that is not normally covered, it's not normally recognized, it does not have a designated number, it does not have a real point, but it exists, and just by knowing where that is there, yet again, right on the top of the bicep, come down towards the elbow. You're just looking at about an inch, just about an inch from the elbow. And just with fingertip or thumb pressure, <laughs> even one arm, look, it just. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> now they're well activated. We're gonna have, we've had enough of pressure points to be honest. Now <laughs> we need to stop. We're gonna be literally both of us covered in bruises. <laughs> now it's all good fun. You know we enjoy it. We actually enjoy feeling a bit of pain. And at the end of the day, these videos are about defence and getting somebody off you. And this is an effective technique to get somebody actually 
You know what I mean? Where Crumble the, of Belgrade, definitely. If they've got somebody else, you know, if you've got hold of somebody else and you want to take them off, yeah? If you've got hold of somebody else and he's got his arm up there, yeah, and say, hang on a minute, get off me, and, you, and you'll do that. You know what I mean? Get off. Yeah, yeah. looking forward with, with pressure points as well. I mean, obviously it's high, yeah. People talk about pressure point knockouts and certain pressure point takedowns and stuff. The takedown, that's not going to just come from the pressure point itself. You've always got to have some kind of grip and downward force to get an opponent down. You know, you need that downward force. You can't just go in and press that and expect him to drop down. Without the downward force, it won't drop down. Yeah. So you actually physically need to apply some downward force to it, but it's the sheer intensity of the pressure point that just scrambles the brain of your opponent and yeah. just makes you think, whoa, I can't comprehend all with that, and down you go. Now, obviously as well with this one, Sensei Brown's just talked about with certain other pressure points, you can get somebody down, you can keep them pinned. I don't really think that you're looking to pin somebody with this one. Like I say, it comes from a lapel grab. Yeah. So if I grab his lapels here, once oh, he's actually got the reaction of me going down, that's all it that's all he needs. Yeah. And he can make his escape, and I'm thinking to myself, ah, ah, do you know what I mean? You've got three sort of type of actions that you can use on pressure points. Rubbing techniques, where you can rub them. Now that's more of a medicinal healing type thing. Now You've got two other techniques, haven't you, Sensei, where you can strike into them, which knuckles, yeah, um, after that, after that, after that, bang, hit them into a, a bicep on the inside or on the outside, I would imagine that hurts. Now, to press into them is a good one, but you can actually um, start and stop by manoeuvring your, your thumbs into the pressure point. That's probably the best technique we can teach you for going into pressure points. That, that obviously, like he says, there's rub pressure points, there's certain pressure points where you can rub against, and they're really, really horrible. Now, if I'd just gone and pressed that, I wouldn't have got a reaction at all and by pressing it, even by striking it, yeah. you don't get much of a reaction, but if you just go in and rub past it, then rubs are just absolutely excruciating. So there's different ways of applying your technique into different pressure points, and the most effective one is the pulsating. If you can make your thumb pulsate on a pressing pressure point, such as the one we're talking about here in the bicep, it's not looking forward to this i really love executing these on him you know what i mean i really I just really love that i do that for fun every day it's just hilarious to see the reaction of how he goes down and he's a strong kid this man you know what i mean you might not think it but he's actually a strong kid so to get that reaction from somebody who's actually quite tough and you know he can put himself through a pain barrier when he needs to it just goes to show you just just how ferocious that actually is Oi, blind man i've got words to have with you <laughs> Now, I'm not even going to let him finish his sentence. <laughs> I mean, he's coming in with quite a bit of anger, the tone of his voice, and you just think, right, get off, just get down. <laughs> <laughs> now, like I've already said, you've got to have downward pressure if you want to take somebody down, no matter what you're doing with your technique. So, when you see pressure point and just going downward pressure. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> Sensei. Thank you for putting yourself through the pain barrier. I'll let, you, I'll let you sign this one out. Right, that's a fun takedown in the middle of the dojo with the crazy blind man and Paul Cat Johnson. What's up?